This isn't going to be a really detailed study, but something I've been wanting to do for a while to expose these cliches that are um, sp spoken by, you know, professing Christians um, being spread by the buildings called churches, these unbiblical ch cliches that they're lies, they're satanic. Um, and I kind of already did that, did that with the Judge Not video, that's one of those cliches, and I'll add that to the playlist. But a couple days ago, someone said this one to me, that um, everyone is a child of God. And, you know, I was <laughs> when I heard that, I was like, no, 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 no. Um, everyone is not a child of God. That is completely unbiblical. Um, so, we're going to look at that. And this kind of falls along the, the same lines as the cliche that people will say God loves everyone and in a certain way that's true but that'll be for another video but let's see about um, that everyone is a child of God um, see we have something here that that God gave us this is called the Bible okay this is God's Word this is um, all truth this is um, what God wants us to know about him um, God gave us this so we will study it, so we will learn it. We are to to learn this, we are to um, to know this, to believe it, to follow it the best that we can, to defend it. Um, so anyways, um, let's see, I want to start here in Luke 20 verse 34. It says, And Jesus answering said unto them, The children of this world marry, Okay, so there we're talking about the children of this world, and are given in marriage, but they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world, and the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage, neither can they die any more, for they are equal unto the angels, and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. So here we got a difference between the children of the world and the children of God. So obviously not everyone is a child of God. And we learn here also that the children of God cannot die. So if we say that everyone is a child of God, then we're basically saying that hell doesn't exist, or that no people, uh, no men go to hell. So that's completely unbiblical. That is a lie of the devil. That's what the devil wants people to know. Because if we go around saying that everyone is the children of the child of God, then there is no reason to spread the gospel. There is no reason for people to repent or to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no reason to be born again. Jesus said that you must be born again. Why would you have to be born again if you're already a child of God? No, you have to be born into the family of God spiritually, and that requires faith and repentance. Okay? And what I did was I just uh, I printed out, you know... Um, a word list here. You can get on Google and look up, you know, King James um, word search or a phrase search. I, I typed in the phrase children of, and this is just in the New Testament, and I just I wanted to study what all it says about the children of God. Um, and I, I basically found out, you know, there's two categories. There's either the children of God or the children of the devil. And we can learn that in 1 John 3, 10, it says, In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. So we have here, there are two types, the children of God and the children of the devil, and that's all that there is. And these are referenced to in different ways, as in the passage that I just read before this, it said the children of the world. They are the same as the children of the devil. Because, you see, man is born in a sinful nature. Um... Because Adam and Eve sinned, the world became cursed, and the seed of mankind was corrupted. So everyone that was born from them afterwards was automatically born in sin. I'm going to read Ephesians 2 and verse 3. Where in time past we walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, which is Satan, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Who are the children of disobedience? among whom also we had our conversation in times past in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh in the mind, 
and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others who are the children of wrath. Okay, here we mentioned the children of disobedience and the children of wrath. It says we were by nature the children of wrath. See, man is born into sin. Man is automatically born a child of the devil. They are born under God's wrath, okay, to be condemned, judged for their sin, and eternal punishment. Um, <clears throat> so, um, here are the different ways that it's referenced in the New Testament. You know, the children of God, they're also the children of your Father in heaven, the children of the bride chamber, the ch children of the kingdom, the children of the highest, the children of light, the children of resurrection, the children of the promise, children of the living God, children of Abraham, children of the prophets, children of the stock of Abraham, children of the promise, children of the day, or children of promise. That was, um, and then, you know, we got the children of Satan, or the devil, the children of the kingdom, the children of the wicked one, the children of this world, the children of the flesh, the children of the bondwoman, children of disobedience, the children of wrath, the children of the devil, children of them which killed the prophets, child of hell, and also bastards. If you're not a child of God, you're a bastard, spiritually. Um, so the Bible does not at all say that all are the children of God. It actually says that all are born as the children of disobedience or the children of wrath and that you must be born again. If you want to be saved from your sins, saved from hell, and have eternal life, you must be born again. You must be born a child of God. And many and many aren't children of God. And I have to call into question if the person who believes this or says this is a child of God. I mean, there are those who might be saved who are ignorant, but once you are presented with this truth, you are shown the scriptures that obviously not everyone is a child of God, then you either, you must believe this, but if you don't believe this, then you're probably not saved, you need to repent, okay? Um, we need to defend the Bible, we need to reject lies, reject heresy, okay? God gave us the Bible for a reason, and we are to cling to it, and to proclaim it. Um, so the Bible does not teach that all are children of God. Only those who believe in the Son are the children of God, okay? And it's more than just a, a near, mere head, head knowledge. It must be a belief that um, contains a genuine repentance. It must be a genuine faith. Um, so, if you don't believe this, then I ask you to repent. You must repent. Thank you for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.